Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Stefan from the French Cooking Academy. If you just joined, welcome because today we are making the two famous uh, French crepe dessert. Number one, crepe Suzette that you may know already. Number two, the crepe flambé. I'm going to show you both techniques. We're going to be using the culinary technique from Escoffier. And when it comes to product, we're going to be using French crepes, freshly made, lots of citrus. I've got lemon, orange, mandarin, of course, sugar and butter, and three types of liquor. I've got cognac, Grand Marnier, and triple sec. So this is really a lovely boozy dessert. If you want to know how to make it, keep watching. Welcome back everyone and I hope you did practice your crepe batter technique on my last video that I posted. So thanks for joining uh, if you're coming to the show. Now, uh, crepe Suzette and crepe flambé, two different techniques, two uh, different flavors we're gonna say. Uh, but the one that you know a lot is the crepe Suzette. The first thing I like to say about the crepe Suzette, there is a misconception about that recipe. And it is actually not a recipe that is usually using a flambé technique. Huh? From Escoffier, the crepe Suzette is simply just a crepe that is covered in a specially made butter huh? that is made out of butter, sugar, we got some mandarin uh, zest huh? or grated mandarin zest and some curacao liqueur or uh, in this case triple sec, huh? which is an orange liqueur. No flambé involved. The second recipe that you know, the crepe flambé, is the one that people tend to associate to the crepe Suzette. So I'm going to show you today uh, the two techniques. Huh? I'll start with the crêpe flambé. I'm going to take you through the whole thing and then we'll do the crêpe suzette to see the difference. In terms of the history of the, uh, the crêpe suzette, let's say, uh, it's a bit of a debate. It is said that Escoffier or his apprentice actually was the one that invented uh, that recipe, but there's other sources that said that the recipe already existed in some small restaurants uh, in a nearby Paris area, you know, years before, etc, etc. So, how do we know exactly what was the thing? I think, personally, from the name, Suzette, which is a very common folk name, I don't think, like, uh, a really noble uh, person back in the day would be called Suzette, uh, and I think it must have originated in a small place, like a lot of things happen. Someone did a simple version, surely, of the crepe with some butter, maybe flavored with some uh, citrus. And then Escoffier maybe heard about that and changed the recipe, elevated it to another level by adding lots of liquors, uh, lots of techniques into it to make something really magnificent. So. I'll keep it at that. If you want, you can research it for more details. But let's not waste uh, any more time because I think the crepes are calling, or actually they are <laughs> smelling. I'm really above the crepes and they smell really, really good. So uh, I'm going to show you how to make first the crepe flambé and then the crepe Suzette. Practice demonstration starting now. Let's cook. Now let's start with the ingredients we need uh, for the crepe flambé. And as you can see, of course, we need the freshly made crepes. And here you're going to need 35 grams of unsalted butter, about 150 ml of uh, orange juice, which is pulp free, but 35 grams of caster sugar, uh, the zest of one orange. So we will see what we do with that. Uh, some lemon juice that we're going to press from a fresh uh, lemon. You need about two tablespoons of cognac, and that's for the flambé, and this is three tablespoons or a bit more of Grand Marnier liquor. Now let's make some crepe flambé. Now because of the nature, of the delicate nature of this operation, you need to have everything uh, at hand. Remember, uh, this is usually done in the front of house and great restaurants by the maitre d' or the head waiters. Huh? So I've got my orange juice, my cognac, my Grand Marnier, my sugar, my lemon, and the crepes, everything at hand, so I can actually make my preparation. Huh? So you don't want it, you won't have time to run around the kitchen. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna start with a gentle heat under your pan. And the first thing we're gonna do is make a caramel. Uh, usually when it comes to the sugar, uh, you don't have to put it absolutely everywhere. You can put about like this, a teaspoon, a little, uh, sorry, tablespoon, a bit more. Uh, and this is where things can take a little bit of time. So we need to have the caramel to start. So we're going to leave it on here, low to medium maximum, and wait to see the first traces of caramel appearing before we go on to the next stage. All right, so a few minutes later, as you can see, the caramel starts to uh, melt and the sugar melts, and immediately we're going to start to incorporate the butter. Uh, and you have to be in charge of this preparation when you make this. And remember, that's uh, very important. 
Making with your clients and immediately a little bit of lemon juice. And we're gonna very quickly add some lemon zest. I forget to mention that and orange juice as well. You don't want to wait too long. Reduce the heat. And that's to have your base preparation. So once you got this, we're gonna leave this to reduce and to cook a little bit. So it's rising temperatures. So it melts with the sugar a little bit. Huh? So just for a minute or something. All right, so as soon as your mixture reduces a little bit, it is time now to add the Grand Marnier in there. Yeah, we're not doing a flambe here. It's just for the flavor. It's the same thing here. Control the heat and we're gonna further reduce just to get our preparation going. So keep an eye on it. And we're just gonna reduce it a little bit before we start plunging the crepes in. Okay, all good. So when you've got uh, that mix, you can do it with your hands in a restaurant. They, you, know, they have to, you have to use the spoon and uh, the fork here. But here, let me to show you the exercise. Huh? You plunge the crepe like that on one side, then on the other side. Sorry, it's a bit messy. And then you fold it once like that, and then you fold it again. Put it on the side of the pan, and then you're gonna repeat the process with more crepes. So the ingredients I gave you is enough usually for about three crepes, two times three crepes. Huh? So I'm doing a bit home style here, sorry. And it's just a matter of coating them in that mix. Boom, boom, and we've got them here. So you've got your crepes. When you're here, we're gonna try to do a flambe. So you can put your crepes at the bottom of the pan. Sorry, arrange them a little bit. Put your fire on high. Then you put the cognac and we're going to try to get the flame and out of the, if you have uh, an air conduct to suck up the air, make sure you're not under it to so not start a big fire in your house. Huh? And as soon as the flambe has taken place, boom, done. Turn the heat off and your crepes are ready. Now I'm going to serve that in immediately on the plate and show you the result. Huh? All right, so here are the crepe flambe. So to finish off, I put it in a nice plate. Uh, you sprinkle with a little bit of sugar and I've rinsed my pan with an uh, excess of orange juice. And uh, you just basically cover your crepes and you just sprinkle with uh, an extra bit of orange on there. So it's not the best thing. And this is as simple as it gets. So this is the version of the crepe flambe. And now for the crepes is it. So before everybody jumps on my back saying, no, no, they are a flambe recipe. It is actually uh, not called a crepe suzette. Originally, it's also called the uh, beurre suzette or suzette butter. And here it is. This is the Escoffier uh, original book. It says crepes suzette. Elles se font avec la composition A, which is uh, crepe butter, parfumé au curacao et au sucre de mandarine. So it basically says they are made with uh, a crepe butter that originally has been even uh, flavored with curacao and mandarin. Next. It says this, on les tartines, comme les crêpes gilba, de beurre travaillé, parfumé au curaçao et au sucre de mandarine. So of course, it's in French. Uh, so in English, it says, you know, uh, they are spread uh, like the crêpe uh, gilba with a butter that has been flavored with curaçao, in this case, triple sec, which is an orange liqueur, and a mandarin juice. There you go. No flambe involved. So let's look at the ingredients. Now for the ingredients, the crepe suzette or suzette butter is very simple to make and these are the ingredients you're going to be needing. Of course, in the freshly made crepes, 100 grams of sugar, uh, use caster sugar, that's very fine sugar, uh, you don't want a very big grains types of sugar. Uh, 100 grams of plain butter, I'm using French butter, two mandarins, and we're going to be using a zester uh, to grate some of the zest out of this. For the liquor, I'm using a triple sec, which is a bitter orange liquor from the island of Haiti in the West Indies. Uh, as coffee, I think, recon, we need to use the curacao, which is the same kind of liquor, a bitter orange liquor, but from the island of Curacao, which is also kind of in the West Indies, but we're not going to be too picky about, you know, which island uh, the liquors come from. Now, to make our uh, Suzette butter, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take a little bowl like this and we need to start grating the skin of or the zest of one of the mandarins. So because I didn't have the real good grater, I didn't show it on the camera, but basically it is the act of grating like this all of the skin of one mandarin and put it into the bowl. Next, we need to apparently incorporate the butter. So the butter has to be at room temperature and it has to be really, 
really soft. Uh, so what that means is that really that you're gonna be able with the fork you know, to press it down and it's gonna become immediately a kind of a paste. As soon as your butter is in, uh, you mix it like this, uh, get a nice mix and we're gonna add all of the sugar in. So maybe you can do it in two times. So half the sugar first and then slowly incorporate it. I'm adding the other part of the sugar. And same thing here, uh, you're just gonna gently incorporate it. Finally, you're gonna add the liqueur. So pour the liqueur over. Uh, it's about two tablespoons. And then same thing, very slowly, we're gonna make sure that we have a coherent, coherent mix, sorry for my English. And then the butter will be ready. Well, I spoke a bit fast here, I just said it was ready, but we forgot one ingredient. And this is it, the mandarin juice. Of course, we need to press and the juice from that mandarin we've grated. Eh? Let's not forget that, sorry Escoffier, will you ever forgive me? I'll forget the mandarin juice, let's put it in. This is it, now that looks better. So same thing here, I'm gonna slowly incorporate that mandarin juice into our butter. My butter has rested and we're now ready to start the simple uh, crepe Suzette. So the pan, uh, clean pan, this is a full metal uh, stainless steel pan. And we're gonna be using, uh, contrary to the crepe flambe that was really high heat and everything, this is really just about having a crepe and warming it up a little bit so that the butter can melt on there. This is not meant to be that big kind of flambe. So these are very uh, low key types of crepe with a very good uh, sugar and butter filling, which is actually really my favorite. I actually love that mix. So, you know, gently, this is heating up and I'm just gonna put a crepe in there. Okay, and I'm gonna wait until it just warms up. So you can even check with your hands. So be very gentle. And as soon as it's hot, I'm gonna just turn it over before we put the butter. Okay, it's hot enough, I'm gonna turn it over. And what I want to do here is to restore that kind of uh, flexibility and let the humidity come out a little bit on that crepe. Huh? Look at this, you see there's a little bit of smoke? And I can still put my hand on this, but for the butter, that's gonna be perfect. So really, really, uh, how much do we put? You know, we're just gonna put maybe like, let's say a teaspoon. Uh, and gently, you're gonna coat your crepe with that butter. And this is the whole intention. So you go around and you make sure there's butter everywhere. If your crepe is getting too hot, just don't be scared and put the heat off. Okay, so there we go. When all that lovely butter is in, look at this, the pieces of mandarin. It is simple, the same thing as before. So you fold one hand and you fold again and then we have it. So from the outside, doesn't look like anything, so I'm gonna reserve that one. Boom, just now one thing I want to show you as well, put the heat off so on one crepe, is to how to use this thing. And you take an orange like this, and if you want to make decoration or add flavor, you can press this like that and you create this little zest. So you see there at the bottom of the pan? So this is for decoration that you can use. What you can also do is try uh, to use that bit here and is to cut stripes out of the orange like I've done here. So you plant your tool and you try to work your way slowly around a firm orange to get a very, very long stripe that we're gonna be using, I'll show you why. Okay, so we've made another version here. I've got some orange peel, I've put some butter, and what you can try to do is fill this with like fruits and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna put anything in there just to show you, but usually you make a little pouch like that, you know? So you make a pouch that's looking like this, and the idea is to roll around that piece of, of uh, that string of orange in front of the camera is not easy but basically you turn that around like that now you got the idea so something like this maybe i can do it oh i can do it yes so you get something like that okay so that will be some kind of presentation for a nice plate so i'll make a plate try to decorate it and we'll see the result et voilà the crepes suzette are served huh? this is the plate i've made so you can see uh, the little eau monette huh, that is usually filled with these things inside just to show you on the outside so this is a place of three crepes per, per person as the usual thing you got orange peel 
and it's filled with that butter. You can also, if you want to add more of that butter on top to make it more indulgent, so I'll put a foam of mandarin butter on top of here. And maybe you can also add a little bit of uh, you know, powdered sugar on there. Just a hint to make it more festive. Huh? But that's about it, nothing super special. Uh, but this is the real crepe Suzette, guys. Remember, it is just a uh, crepes with butter. There's no flambe. If you're dying to make a flambe, you can also warm up some Grand Marnier, pour it over, and do a flambe uh, on the, the place of your guests. But, you know, it's nice to do something differently. But, whew, what a marathon that completes our crepes two ways, huh? the crepe flambe and the crepe Suzette. So I hope you've got all the necessary information to make this, this recipe. Try it at home. Uh, tell me what you think and as always uh, if you want to ask questions do it if you want to uh, support me on patreon i will really appreciate it because it really helps me and uh, for the rest well we'll do more cooking more cooking class and i'll see you all next time on my next video take care bye bye